do a little bit of a muck around with these things. So this one here is a six volt and it's got 12 volt in it and this is a 12 volt and I just thought I'd, just for everyone, just show the basics. So you can do this at home and make your car go a lot better. So this one has a, has a 12 volt in it right now, fully charged. And I'll get the young fella here to give it a bit of a run and we'll show you what it's like. This is gonna be our 12 volt. This is pretty much walking pace for me. We're going downhill slightly, so it's walking pace. So what we got here is just an 18 volt Milwaukee battery. The lithium does seem to give up its charge a lot quicker, but I'll throw it in and we'll show you the difference. Yeah. Right, so that's our standard 12 volt on the ground, 18 volt in the car now, the, just a Milwaukee battery. Give it a run, mate. Good job, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Now I'm walking the same speed as before and you're slowly getting away from me. It's a hell of a lot more of a usable speed. I was just trying to do a setup with 24 volt in this 12 volt system. See that's 6 to 12 volt controller and um, I've blown all the capacitors up. Moral of the story that is... Smells. Moral of the story is without a 20 volt, 24 volt controller you should probably stick to 18 volt. So here's this new motherboard here that I've just boomed. Um, you can't really see it on the GoPro, it's not clear enough, but they do say 16 volt on them, so... Um, yeah. 18 volt's probably not good for them either, but... They obviously hold it. 24 volt, definitely not. This is our other little one, it started life as a 6 volt car. And it's far less advanced, it doesn't have any type of controllers. It seems to be far more hardy, because it doesn't have any of that type of a setup. It started life as a 6 volt. It's got one motor on it in the back. One motor and gearbox. So it's pretty aggressive steering because there's no type of acceleration or deceleration control. It's very aggressive when you put bigger batteries in it. So it's got one six volt motor, 10,000 RPM six volt motor. So no type of computers to fry capacitors or resistors on like I have on the other one. So, so this one is gonna be a six volt motor running on 12 volt. Pretty aggressive to get going because it doesn't have the computer in it, but. Come back, stop letting go. I'm walking the same pace again. You can see that's probably the same pace as the other car in 18 volt. So here we go. This one here, six volt motor, six volt car, single motor, single gearbox. Um, it's very aggressive with the 18 volt battery. I'm probably gonna burn the motor out very quickly. Righto mate, give this one a go. He loves this one. <laughs> I 
they should all go that fast. <laughs> so just reinforce what we've done here. Um, all the motors are stock. Um, the first car has 12 volt, 10,000 RPM. The second car has six volt, 10,000 RPM. And that's why I think you see such a bigger increase in this one, because we're doubling, you know, three times the voltage to get a lot more out of it. And this one over here is a 12 volt car. So when we put 18 volt to it, we're not really doubling the voltage. Um, so we're not getting double the speed, but we can't, we try to do 24 volt to see if we can go as fast, but we've blown the controller. So for anyone playing with them, that's some pretty, pretty easy results to follow. If you've got one of those speed controllers, don't put 24 volt to it. Next video, we'll play with um, some higher RPM motors and see how they do. See what the difference is in those. Cheers.